Hello. Hello, Rafael. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine. Okay, good. I, uh, I see your collection. Right now it's right raining. There. I see your collection. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> nice. My airplane and cars. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rafael, is it raining there in your house? Yes, yes, huh? so much. Yeah, here uh, it's raining also. Yeah. yeah. I hope okay. I have no problem with the internet because sometimes, you know, when it's raining, the electricity goes down. So, yeah. Yes, That's right. Okay. And how was Where it? you live? Sorry? Where are you live? Uh, I live in Mexicanos. Mexicanos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. And how about you? Where do you live, Rafael? I live in Ocuscatlan. Oh, come on. It's a beautiful place. Yes, yes, it's a beautiful place. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, I heard good news about that. Yes, you go yes. to La Libertad, right? And you turn on your left. On the, on the right. On the right. If you, if you, uh, right. If you go to the liber, to La Libertad, you turn on the left. Left, right. Okay. Yes. Good. Excellent. But if you go to Merliot, you turn yeah. on the right. The turn right, okay. Right. Very good. Here we have Yolanda. How are you, Yolanda? Fine, teacher. Okay, congratulations. Always punctual, on time. Yes. <laughs> Even two, on... two minutes left. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, well, even though today is Friday, you know, it's, but you're here. I can hear even, you, teacher. Even though it's Friday, you're mm -hmm. here in class. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. In modo, in Spanish. Anyway, you say, in anyway. Modo, <laughs> yeah, but how, how do you like the class, Yolanda? Well, for me, it's well. It's okay. But uh, yes, it's, it's okay, and I think I am learning not good. Uh, yeah. new things. <laughs> it's not the same in person, right? But it's, it's, it's good because you are in your house. You, you have um, the opportunity to, to drink a coffee, to have the with the meat <laughs> and have the class, right? Pupusas. <laughs> well, Friday is for pupusas, so yeah, pupusas too, right? <laughs> In my case, I will uh, course uh, uh, on Monday. Uh, it's about a policy dialogue and it's in English. I am trying to, uh, I think, uh, to make a report about that. <laughs> Excellent. Like I say to my students, right? In the morning, I say, Excellent also. <laughs> okay, hey Dagoberto, welcome Dago. How are you? Hi, good evening. How uh, are the mathematics? Good. I'm starting. I'm starting uh, Friday. I can't to be to show my camera. <laughs> ah, your camera? Yeah. Yeah, I can to show it. Show okay. it. For so sorry, I didn't get yeah. the idea. Uh, you have problems with your camera? No, no. I, I'm I'm in other place. I'm not ah, ah to... I get it. Sorry, sorry. Though. It's Friday. It's Friday. I understand, but 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 you're not in in. Uh, ah, uh, I <laughs> want to say you that uh, we the group in the, to, the the group the class how to plan planificada. Sorry, repeat, Dagoberto, uh, because I... Ah, repeat, group, repeat. The, the class uh, uh, was thinking to, to do or to make uh, a presencial class uh, on a Friday. Ah, okay, I understand, yes. Uh, yes, but in your case, you are out of your house, so, uh, but you are very responsible. So that's the reason you are no camera today, but in class. I understand. I understand. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Ah, okay. Very good, Dagoberto. Nice. And we have also Francisco today. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Okay. I am ready for uh, for to learn English. Okay, nice. And you know, people in the United States say, how are you? How are you? <laughs> so this is like a slang, right? Instead of saying, how are you? They say, how are you? <laughs> so how was your day, Francisco? Uh, I, I was rest, resting my home. Oh, vacation, nice. <laughs> Friday and vacation, good, excellent, very, very good, right? Okay, so well. But in English class, <laughs> <laughs> this class is vacation, so also because, come on, is <laughs> you enjoy the class, right? You like English, so <laughs> yes, teacher, I like the bar in, in the in back of Dagoberto. Ah, uh, this is uh, my my house, you know, and then there is a no. kind of what. No, Dagoberto uh, ah, told us yes. that is, this is another place. I think it's at a bar. It's, it's like a studio, huh? <laughs> yes or no? It's like oh. a studio, right, Dago? Exactly. It's, yeah. It is. It's very nice. Oh. Okay, good. And then I have Irvin. Hello, Irvin. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Irvin? I'm pretty good, teacher. Really? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. So welcome to the class. It's a pleasure. Okay, guys. So sorry. The, again, the class is only about grammar. You know, advanced levels are, you know, like special. Uh, the topic of grammar is like more common, right, than other levels. So, but for you, it's a breeze, right? So come on. The past perfect end. Easy for you, right? That's nice. But when you say bird to be, simple present, ah, no, come on. For you, past perfect, right? <laughs> okay, so let's start today, right? Uh, I'm gonna share my, my screen here, right? Okay, so section four, we were learning about a video the past continuous versus the simple past, present, sorry, uh, a listening activity. And yesterday we started with <clears throat> the past perfect, right? The past perfect. We were watching a, a video about the past perfect. Overview means a, a general uh, view about the, this topic, right? So let's listen again the video. I, I know you were watching the video, right? Um, and also sometimes, you know, uh, the, the audio is not very clear, but uh, the author of the, of the video writes the information so you can see, right, the, the structure. That is the most important part in grammar, right, to see the structure. So we're going to see the video again, right? And if you have new questions about this video, you can tell me, right? Okay, here we go. Watch, please. class would be with expressing the event that occurred before another event. For example. Yeah, yeah, the, the audio is not very good. I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm sorry. But again, so you can see, you can see what is he's saying in, in, in the video, right? Part of last weekend, but we forgot to do the event and put it all in the video. I'll explain the structure a little bit. The most important thing to remember on this topic is how and when to use Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I gave to you at the moment, just a couple of seconds. When I got there, Think about that example there. What I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occurred. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to do. And what you are 
this is what took place last week, and so on. That is that x is your rhythm. When I got there, my friends had to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. My friends had this is the event of the circle that you see here. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last week with my friends, they call me the means is that I went to the party. When I got there, there was food at the party. And my friends ate it. That's not really what I want to express, what I really want to express. Yeah, I went to the party and there was no more food. Thus, something had happened before that, and that was the fact that my friends came to the party. So that's why this is really important to me to when to use this So I'm going to continue to do it for examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see, the examples on the chart refer to basically it's a, it's a person that uh, was in the gym and Got to block this one, and therefore, this is what took place. Let's go analyze the examples that are there. Now, we work now, and I have put my stuff in my block. Stop there for a second. Now, is the past event that's that X, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event. And I have put my stuff in my locker. So, in that, I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event. That happened before this past event. So it's that little blue circle that you see. When I came back, that's that event there, that's the uh, past event. Someone had stolen my body. So um, I came back, but before this event, someone had stolen my body. They were able to steal it. That's the past event. So that's that next fuel. Because I have forgotten to lock the lock. That is the past perfect. Let's just give one last example here. So, what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money. But I want to give a reason for why I didn't have it money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have it money. That's that X that you see here. Before this, I want to explain that I had to get my wallet. And that's the reason why. Um, okay, guys, let me see. I'm going to stop here. Yes. Good. So please notice again the use of the past perfect, right? You can uh, introduce a past event. In that past event, you can use any tense in simple part, right? Uh, simple past, past, con past continuous, right? The past of B, right? And uh, you can connect this uh, past event with a past perfect event, right? Uh, using the next um, connectors. We can use an, right? The conjunction and. You can use also when, right? And you can also use because. In the case of because, remember you're telling a reason because because is a reason or something, right? Okay, those are conjunctions and also uh, connectors that use we, we use to to put together the past event with the past perfect event, right? Okay, and remember the structure of the past perfect again, right? Is uh, the the auxiliary had plus a past participle verb. Uh, I have a question, class. Do you understand what is a past participle? Remember, this is a verbal form, right? What you can use in the present, in the future, in the past, right? 
So do you understand what is a past participle? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Like I say yesterday is the, what we have in Spanish, like ado ido, right? Comprado, bebido, soñado, you know? That, that is the same, okay? And remember, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. In the WhatsApp group, I shared some information today uh, about a practice that you can do, but, but this is not evaluated. This is not a part of, of the class. It's just something you can practice by yourself, right? If you want to improve your listening activities. And today, I will send you another link where you can uh, practice uh, uh, grammar, right? In general, yes? General, in the, in the internet. So today I will send this information. So um, remember this part is not evaluated. The information that I send in the, in the WhatsApp group is, and it's not an obligation. If you say, no, I don't want to see the video. No, no problem, right? Uh, the obligation for you is to complete the platform. Yes, that part, yes. But uh, I will send these places and uh, these sites, sorry, in internet where you can practice and look for, for uh, these structures, right? Because uh, in internet, you can find a lot of support, right? To, to understand this very well. And also here, remember last time I tell you, I told you, sorry, how to find more information in grammar, that you go to Centro de Ayuda, and then you go to uh, grammar, and you can practice here, here in the platform, right? Okay, good. Coming back to, to this, right? Uh, there you can practice, for example, the past participle verbs that we have. I repeat, regular verbs where you add ed and irregular verbs that you remember you have to, to, uh, to memorize, memorize those, those that, right? Okay, in this case, for example, put, Stolen and forgotten. Those are past participle form of irregular verb, right? Okay, good. And, and here we have to think what event happened first, right? In the last topic, remember, we were learning that a continuous action was interrupted by a simple past event, right? Now, in this case, we have two events and one event happened first and then the second event, right? Okay. So here, for example, I was working out and I have put my stuff in my locker. Again, class, what happened first? The, I, I put my stuff in my locker or working out? Put your stuff in your locker. The past, perfect, right? So in this case, the, the dot, the point here is the first event. And then after that, the second event here is described with I was working out. If the second event is the X we have here in blue, right? Then we use and. In the other one, we use when, right? Okay. And also you can change the order. You change the order, right? Here, for example, I can say, uh, when you use when, right? You can change the order. You can say, someone has stolen my wallet when I came back. Okay, or you can say uh, the other one because I have forgotten to lock the locker, they were able they were able to steal it, right? In this case, you can change it, right? Okay, and here uh, the first event is the one that is describing described sorry in the past purpose. So they had stolen stolen my wallet. In the third one, we also have that the, the, the second, uh, the first event, sorry, is uh, forget to lock the door, right? Okay, I, I guess that is clear, right? Then here we have these examples that you can see in the videos. Again, right, I didn't have any money because I have forgotten my wallet at home. Notice that here we, we can uh, include a negative sentence, right? Okay, no problem. In the next video, today we are going to learn how to, to work with negative um, sentences, right? And in the video number three, we are going to learn how to make questions using the past paragraph, right? This is for today. But now for the moment, we are going to make an exercise. Again, it's like a little quiz, right? 
And I have prepared a PowerPoint presentation for you. Okay, just give me a second. Oh my gosh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, presentación de diapositivas. Excuse me, class, I have a problem with the, with the file. I don't know what happened. Teacher, why, can I ask you something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, why uh, uh, right in the, why do people use right now the word, for example, you right now, uh, you just, uh, you, uh, you just uh, uh, speak or tell us, uh, you mentioned, oh my gosh, when the 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 word is oh my god, uh, gosh, okay. what what does that mean? What gosh? Uh, there is no meaning. In fact, right? Uh, people change the words, right? And they use expression. This is cultural. There are many words that are like invented. You know, mm -hmm. like for example, when you say. Uh, uh, Dios miguito, or, uh -huh. or I don't know how to say, uh, excelente, excelentoso, uh, you know? So there are some, I don't know how, I, I, how to say that. Okay. It's like a change in, in, in language, right? Uh -huh. Not exactly slang, because the slang is totally different. It's more from the street, but. But it is the same mean, it is the same mean only the. Oh my God, it's the same. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's the same, right? So, uh, but I will investigate more. I will investigate more. I want to to see the origin of this of the of the uh -huh. word, right? And I will tell. I, you. No, I, no, I tell that because I hear that a lot in in HGTV when the people says exclamation, "Oh my gosh!" Uh huh. So it's, yes. And it's a. You know, I say, "Why? Why? Why they say that?" It's it, "Oh my god!" Uh, or, "Oh my god!" No, "Oh my gosh!" Or yes. why? Uh -huh. It's very common. Uh -huh. It's very common. And okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank now, you. sorry, I am looking for the file uh, of the presentation today. Give me some second because oops, I have I have some troubles to find in the the PowerPoint presentation class. Give me a second. Mauricio, please. in my case, is oh my gosh, I don't have any money. No. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's very common, right? That is very common. Uh, yeah, or to pay the bills. Wow, what happened? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a very, that's usual. That's uh, <laughs> um, not for you, Yolanda, it's for all of us. <laughs> everybody has a problem. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah I, the same problem. It's a very common. Okay, class, I have I have the, the file now ready for you, right? Sorry, sometimes technical problem, right? Here we have the presentation, okay? Again, I don't know what happened. Um, my gosh, so I guess we're going to do it like this. Well, you can see the screen, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. I have problems to present like, like the full screen. But I guess you can see this, this the you can understand the sentence, right? Uh-huh. Yes? Okay, good. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, let me see what else. Oh uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. And ah, I have it here. But anyway, sorry. Now let's start, let's start, sorry. Okay, use the past perfect to show that one past action happened before another past action. I wasn't able to pay for lunch because I had left my wallet at work. I had left my wallet, wasn't able to pay. We saw this last class, right? 
So the first event, this in this case is described right here for the past purpose, right? And then the second event is described for a simple past form. It could be simple past, past, con past continuous, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. Um, Yolanda, you are you have a good memory. Uh, we finished this part yesterday? No, right? Okay. It was a homework. Okay, let's, let's do it together. So let's start with Rafael. Rafael, for you, uh, I need you to develop sentence number two, right? Then Yolanda, you're going to develop number three. Uh, Mauricio, you're going to develop number four. Okay. Irving, you're going to develop number five. And I don't know Francisco or Dagoberto. Francisco is going to help us. Uh, let's make Dago rest, right? <laughs> ah, Sofia here with us too, right? So Francisco, you're going to make number six. Number six. Hey, teacher. Okay, good. So let's start one by one, right? Number, the example is the museum closed a thief stole a famous painting earlier. The museum closed because a thief had stolen a famous painting earlier. So you can use when, you can use because, and, and you can use and, but, but in this case, the, the answers are only when and because. Here, for example, we have an, an example because, right? And the museum clothes is in simple past and the thief has stolen is in past perfect, past perfect, sorry. So the first event in time is has stolen, right? Okay, now let's go to number two. We finished cleaning the house when our guests had arrived. Okay, good. Good. Now we're going to check it later, right? We're going to check it later. Okay. Now who's next? Number number three? Uh, someone robbed my house yesterday because I left the window open. Okay. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you very much. Number four, please. Uh, hi. Uh, there wasn't no food in the house. Because we for we uh, wow we were forgotten mm -hmm. uh, to stop at the supermarket. Okay, good. Thank you. Now number five, please. I called her three times when she finally answered. Okay, when? Good. Thank you very much. And Francisco. I knew about the problem uh, because your brother uh, told me about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, sorry to tell you, right? I will give you a second opportunity. <laughs> the, the five sentences are not correct, but it's just a small detail, just a small detail. So let's, let's make it again, right? Rafael, a second opportunity, think about it. Okay, okay. Okay, I will give you a clue. I, okay, I can listen. use... Rafael, Rafael listen. Yes. Had. 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 That is the clue, eh? Okay, come on. Um, I can use uh, uh, past continuous. Okay, no. Rafael, we're going to do something easy, right? We are going to okay. think what happened first. What is the first event? And in that case, that event is going to use have, okay? The first event. Uh, so, Rafael, the first event is clean the house. Uh, finish clean, cleaning the house or the guests arrive? What happened first? Okay. 
we had finished clean clean the house cleaning 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 the house when our guests arrived okie dokie uh, give me a second my my bell is is very far away give me a second <laughs> Okay, here I am. Congratulations, Rafa. That's it, right? <laughs> okay. We have finished, right? When our guest arrives, right? Okay, that's nice. Let's continue with number three, please. Yolanda, is it, right? Someone robbed my house uh, yesterday because yes, yes. I had... Because, less, because, uh, because, because... Because I had less the window open. Mm, okay, let me see. I have left. Yeah, perfect. But That's it said right? the, I uh -huh, the first action was I, I forget to close the window, no? Uh-huh, that's okay. I That's okay, right? Uh, so I had left. Left the uh -huh. window in, in your open. previous sentence, Yolanda, you said uh, only I left. No, I have. I I. You said I that. remember. I have. No, in, in okay. uh -huh. So for because you, Yolanda. I write. <laughs> Correct. Okay. okay. Someone wrote. I had left. Someone wrote. I had left. Correct. Thank you. Now let's go to number four, please. Number four. Okay. <clears throat> uh, there was no food in the house because we have forgotten we have to stop forgotten. at the supermarket. Excellent, yes. very good, that's it, right? Have forgotten. Okay, number five, please. Had, I had called her three times when she finally answered. Good. Again, have, right? Well, some of you forgot to you have, but now you made the correction, congratulations. Now, Francisco. Your opportunity, Francisco. Uh, I have new about mm. the problem. Wait, wait, let's think about it, Francisco. What happened first? Know the problem? Or your brother tell you? Uh, the, the, uh, the brother. The brother? Told me. Uh-huh, that is the first event. So in the first event, you have to use had. When I say the first event is in the line of time, you know? So again, Francisco, I knew about... I knew about the problem because the brother had told me... Had told me. Correct, right? Okay, let's see the answer here. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh... These are the answer, look. We have finished cleaning the house when our guests arrived. Someone robbed my house yesterday because I had left the window open. There was no food in the house, no pizza, no pupusa, nothing, right? No taquitos, because we have forgotten to stop at the supermarket, okay? Notice that we use the preposition after forgotten, right? Don't say forgotten, stop, no, it's forgotten to stop at the supermarket, okay. Then in number five, I have called her three times when she finally answered. I knew about the problem because your brother had told me about it, right? Good, any question? Yes, teacher, I Yes, tell me, tell me, Sophia. Uh, why? We use had, the verb had. Ah, the verb had is an auxiliary for the past perfect. It's an like, auxiliary. Uh, do you remember the present perfect, Sophia? Do you remember yes. the, the present perfect? Yes. yes. In the present we perfect, use we use have, have and has. And has. For example, I have visited Cujucuyo, for example, right? Cujucuyo is in Santa Ana. Existe peque, Cujucuyo, right? So I have visited Cujucuyo. What means that means once in my life, in one opportunity in my life, I visited that place, right? I can say Dagoberto 
has visited te fuiste abajo. Te fuiste abajo is in La Paz, right? And also we have te fuiste arriba. Te fuiste arriba, right? You don't believe me, but you can investigate. Okay, so Dagoberto has visited, right? So when you say have or has, you are using an auxiliary, right? Auxiliaries are and models are a family, but auxiliaries are more general. The auxiliaries are verb to be, do, did, and does, and have, has, have. Those are the three auxiliaries we know. And then the rest are models, should, could, would, will, those are models, but together they are a family, right? Now let's go back to the auxiliary had. We use had, the, uh, the, something like that, like means yo, yo había, okay? Like in present you say, yo he visitado, right? In the past you say, yo había visitado, you know? So you say, I have visited. You use the auxiliary had, and then the past participle. Had is the auxiliary for the structure past perfect, okay? Remember, we have the Thank simple present, the present continuum, the, pres the future continuum, et cetera, et cetera. And those are uh, structures. Those are structures that we use for one specific purpose. Here in this case, we use the past perfect to describe two events that happened in the past, but one event happened before the other event, right? So again, Sophia, the auxiliary have in all of these sentences is to describe the past perfect. And we have, for example, so, uh, because I had left, for example, uh, you use the, the auxiliary have plus the past participle of the verb leave, that in this case is left, right? I had left. In Spanish, we would say, yo ya había dejado, o yo había dejado, Yo había dejado la ventana abierta, es right? I had left. Okay, Sofía. Okay, good. Any, okay. any, you're welcome. Uh, any, any other question, class? Mm -hmm. This is the moment for questions. Come on, <laughs> I'm here to answer you, all your questions. Remember, this topic is very difficult. It's difficult, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. No questions. Uh, for the moment, no. No, okay, good. So let's go to the second video. Let's go to the second video. I don't know what happened with my PowerPoint presentation. I have problems. I understand now. Okay. I understand now. Uh, I think that the, you have to, to be click in uh, Presentation, presentation de diapositiva, exactly, right? Exactly. Uh -huh, yes, that, that is a problem I have, but I'm going to try later because we are going to continue. Thank you. Thank you, Dago. Okay, let me see. So let's go to the second video, right? Again, I, I have to say I'm sorry for the, for the, for the violence, right? For the, because it's not very good, but uh, try to, to see, to see the, the explanation. Okay. Class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. You'll learn the structure and practice. So let's get started in our previous lesson we learned about the past perfect. We can hear you. That in mind, we use the past perfect to express an event to occur before. Yes, Mauricio, the, the audio is not good. The audio is not good. Sorry. But only try to see, right? Okay. I'm, okay. sorry. You, I'm sorry. Can can you check the volume bottom? No, it, it's not my computer. It's the platform, Mauricio. Okay. The platform is yeah, the the, violin, the the audio is not not very good. So, mm -hmm. but I repeat, we have to see to see what okay. what is the author of the video saying, right? So let's get started. I would like to start by making positive statements. So the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, just the structure, and then we'll see how that structure works. I'll just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see clear. So in order to form the past perfect, 
going to have a subject, and then that is going to be followed by an auxiliary that happens to be had, so this is going to become red. And then after that, we're going to get followed the passport symbol here. So we're going to do the passport symbol of blue. And then finally, we will have a complement to this. In the example, we see that we're using the past event and the past perfect event. And that's because we're combining two tenses together. We just know we're in the So as you can see, we see, we see the past event here. Uh, so, Sofia, you can see here the use of the auxiliary. Look, had plus past parties, but right? Okay, let's continue. The past perfect event as a continuation of that. Um, we, this sentence is going to be separate for the community. So let's look at the examples of this. Time. We're going to have some sort of subjects. We're going to say someone. Right? And we're going to borrow that second example that you see here at the bottom. This follows the observer. This, in this case, is going to be had. And then this is going to, be, this is going to follow the past participle of whatever verb that I'm using. In this case, uh, the verb is steal. Past participle of that verb is stolen. Okay. So someone had stolen my wallet. Just to emphasize um, what we're doing, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, try to see if I can work this out right place so that we can clearly see what is it that I'm talking about. So the subject is someone. This may be blue, the same thing as it's red, the external word is red, and then the passport symbol. And uh, the password. So, in this case, I'm just going to So, let's look at the other examples that are on this chart from here. I put my stuff in my locker. So, first of all, we have the subject is I. It follows the external verb, at. And then the password symbol of the verb, in this case, is put. Uh, and then we'll include a complement there. Put my stuff in my locker. My stuff in my locker will be the complement. When we have another sentence uh, that we want to emphasize, so let me do that right now. Okay, so we have, I have forgotten to lock the locker. So uh, once again, we have the subject in that sentence is I, X to the verb have, the past participle of the verb forget, it's forgotten, and then the complement becomes to lock the locker. Now, quickly, what I want to explain is how to make negative statements. There are no negative sentences in this little chart, so I'm going to make those and I'm going to try to fix uh, So let me first explain the structure of that. Uh, so the structure to make negative sentences, statements or negative sentences. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing that changes is that instead of had, we're going to include had. Uh, by the way, this is also the same thing as saying had not. So you might see that either by saying had not or had not. Now, the most common thing to do is that we would use the contraction. Most of the time, we'll see contractions to that. So let me give you then a few examples, and then uh, I'm going to have you do a few examples as well. So I'm going to try to see if I can fit those in into the structure that we see here. The subject is I. In this case, I mentioned we're going to use the pattern. So I'm going to try to use others here. Just to make sure that we're understanding what we're doing. So in that case, that's the auxiliary verb. So because it's a negative, we can say had. Then we use the password symbol of that verb. So in this case, uh, it's locked. Uh, the okay, I guess that that is enough, right? Basically, it's the same structure that the affirmative. The only difference is that you say have not, and then you make the contraction and you say hadn't, right? Then there's the same form, the, the past participle, then the two event, right? Now let's go to the last video for tonight.
the last video and then we're going to finish making another exercise. Let me see any commentary. No, nobody has commented. Well, I'm still expecting if you make commentary here, right? Okay, let's go to the last video for tonight. Again, I have to say I'm sorry for the audio, but let's let's watch what the, they are saying. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to form questions. Questions, questions. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form task perfect questions. So let me include the formula in this document here. The questions and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions today. So let me start off by having a yes or no question. And then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question. Of course, follow this formula that we'll see here. So, first of all, um, if we have a yes or no question, I will start by using half of the auxiliary verb. Go ahead and type the chat real fast. I think I'm using green color there, yeah. And then uh, this follows the subject in this case, this happens to be you. So we we'll click on blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. There we go. Uh, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's the complement of this particular question. So the question is, have you studied English before taking this class? And uh, that's how we form a yes or no question. Now let me write. In this case, class, this is a, a, a yes, no question, right? Yes, no question. And again, you're sorry to use Spanish in this context, but ya habías estudiado inglés antes de, de esta class, right? O habías estudiado. That is the, the structure of the past paper, right? And is this information question? And you said, yes, I have, or no, I haven't, right? WH question. Uh, and WH question, well, you know, what that means is that we're going to include a WH word. And we we'll put that whenever we want more information about a particular topic. Uh, this, the way to do it is almost the same thing, but the only difference that we will include the WH word. Uh, and then had, since we used to use the auxiliary had, uh, we the subject. In this case, we include the past participle the verb, and then whatever complement that exists. So the question is, where have you studied English before taking this class? Maybe the answer to the previous question was yes. And then we went and uh, we asked a second question. Okay, class. So we have the two questions the yes, no question and the information question. Remember, information question have two names. WH question, because all the words start with WH, where, when, why, which, whose, whom, all, how, right? All of them have WH. So sometimes you can say WH question, or you can say information question, right? The difference between yes, no question in all the tenses, see uh, present, present continuous, past perfect, present perfect, et cetera, et cetera, is that uh, yes, no question, you only answer, answer yes or no, or yes or no, right? Had you studied English before? Yes. Had you studied English before? No, no, I haven't, right? Or yes or no. But when you say, where have you studied English before? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I no, right? No, is where? Then the question is where? Ah, I have studied in the university, for example, right? Or in United States. Huh? So you, you make the specific question, the place, when, the time, who, the people, uh, why, the reason, whose possession, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So these are the two kinds of questions that you can also use this question with the past perfect. And remember the intonation. The intonation for yes, no question is up. Have you studied English before? The, uh, okay. And the information question or, 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 or WH question is down. So you say, where have you studied English before? Huh? 
Yes, no question up, information question down, right? Good, that's it. That is everything for the past perfect. I don't know if you have any questions so far. No. No questions? Sure. <clears throat> and in positive statements, mm -hmm. can we to do contractions? In positive. Uh, like, I have, I no. Ah, you mean contractions? Yes, yes, I guess we can make it. Give me a second. We're going to see the, the structure here, though. Is this video, right? Okay, give me a second. Um, maybe another quick. Just to emphasize. Okay, um, here, for example. Just give me a second. Here. If you can say, I. I had stolen, for example, you can say, I'd stolen my wallet. No, 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 sorry, my wallet. <laughs> it's not logic, excuse me. Uh, we can say, for example, uh, they'd, they, for example, right? They'd, contraction, just the D, they, apostrophe D. So you say, they'd stolen my wallet. You can say, you can use contraction, Dagoberto. It's possible when you use affirmative or positive statements, you can use contractions, no problem, right? Okay? Okay. Good, good question, that was a good question. Now, any other question? No, okay. So let's go to the exercise, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for the quiz? Okay, and we have here the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Okie dokie. Yes. And yes, right? Good. Now, it says that, uh, give me a second, I want to see this. I cannot see it very well. Okay. Ramar says, in sentences using after that show one past event occurring before another, the close with after usually uses the past perfect, right? So after she had called her, Call her friend, her cell phone battery died. And it's the same structure, right? Remember, we have used because, when, and and. And now in this exercise, we're using after, after, right? And again, the first event is described for the past perfect, right? And then the second event is described for a form of the simple past. Here, look, the battery died, right? So we're going to do it slowly here together, right? And I'm gonna ask you to help me, right? Uh, you can see the picture. A couple was uh, buying a ring because they, they were to uh, almost to, to get suicide. I'm sorry, suicide, no, to get married, excuse me. <laughs> and, and they're buying a ring, right? In a jewelry in a jewelry, right? And someone, uh, a thief, appear in the scene and, you know, this situation happened. Okay, let's start. Andy and I, suppose the woman is telling the story, right? Andy and I had just gotten engaged, engaged. So we went to the jewelry store to buy a wedding ring. We, okay, I'm gonna ask, uh, let me see, Sophia, please, Sophia, help me. We have just chosen a ring when... Okay, look, stop, stop. We have just chosen, right? We have just chosen a ring. So in this case, it's the second option. Look, yes, we the second. have just... 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, now, Rafael, please. When uh, masked men came in or have come in? Come in. Uh, okay. Very came good. Thank in. Came, came in. in. Okay. Came in. That's <laughs> it, right? Very good. Now we're going to give the opportunity to Rafael. Okay, Rafael? Ready? Good, let's continue. We have just chosen a masked man came in, right? After, notice after the rover, Rafael, took or had taken? Rafael is not here, teacher. He's not here. Let me see. No, okay, well, so uh, Irving is he still Irving. Ah, uh, yes, Irving, yes, please teacher. help me, Irving. After the rover took or had taken? Uh, took. Took, correct. Remember that we have a line of time and the events that happened before are described with the past perfect, right? So here, for example, had just chosen and then the two events came in and took, right? And the rover took and this wallet. He, uh, Mauricio, please help me. He demanded. He had demanded. Wallet. Sorry? He had demanded the ring. Um, okay. Or, Let's think about uh, yeah, the, what happened no, first, right? He, he demanded the ring. He demanded, correct. He demanded. He demanded. Yeah. Thank you, demanded. Mauricio. Again, so came in, took, and demanded the ring, right? Good, let's continue, uh, please. Uh, then we have uh, Yolanda, please. I just handed, or I just, just handed it to him? Um, when the alarm, I think is uh, just handed. I just handed. I just handed. Handed. Simple pass. Let's think about it, Yolanda. Uh, I have to say it to him. Remember, it's not good to use Spanish, but but you can say yo ya había. Huh? Um, you know? Okay, come on. I, I had just handed. Okay, the second option, right? I had just handed, handed it, it to him. To him. To him right. when the it's almost time to finish, but let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, when the alarm, when the alarm, Francisco, see Francisco with us? Yeah, Francisco, please. Start. When the alarm Start. started, right? Started. Start. Go off. And the rover, uh -huh. uh, Rafael, I oh, know Rafael is not. Uh, Irving, please. Uh -huh. Run off. Run off. Very good. So again, had just gotten, had just chosen, came in, took, demanded, I had just handed, started, and the last one is the Robert run off, right? Run off. Okay. We were so relieved. <sighs> okay, relieved. But then the sales assistant. Uh, Sophia, please. Mm -hmm. The assistant, sorry, yes. told what or had told, Sophia? I can see. You can uh, see. But then silence assistant told us. Told, right, told us. Listen, told her that oh, we have to pay the ring, my, like like I, uh, Mauricio said, but my gosh, <laughs> I have to pay the ring, right? So, and then, uh, because I have given... Dagoberto, please, I... Uh, I gave or I have given.
Because I have been... Two options, right, Dago? Gave or have given? Have given. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember what happened first, right? No. Because I gave. Gave, right? Very good. Thank you. Gave. Gave it to the rubber. We, again, please, Mauricio, help me, Mauricio. We just told, mm -hmm. or we has, sorry, we have just told her. Uh, wait, wait. Um, we. It's here. Look, we. Yeah, we just. We just. We just told her that we weren't pay for it when the police arrived. Okay. When the police mm, arrived. Arrived. Arrived, right? So in this case, uh, again, arrived. Mauricio, just told just. or had just told? So, Remember, we have two events, right? This yeah, is the yeah. of the class, Mauricio. When the police arrived, uh, yes. Had so, just told her. Had just told her. Very good. We had, had just, just told her. Uh -huh. that he wouldn't pay for it when the police arrived. Arrived. Police arrived. Right. And, and arrested. arrested. Arrested us. Arrested us. My gosh. What a terrible experience. The, a terrible the experience. mass rover went with the ring and they went to jail. Can you imagine? What a very Teacher. nice experience, right? I have a okay. question. Good, I will repeat the answer. So pay attention, please. Okay. Andy and I had just gotten engaged. So we went to a jewelry store to buy a wedding ring. We had just chosen a ring when a masked man came in. After the rover took Andy's wallet, he demanded the ring. I had just handed it to him when the alarm started to go off and the rover ran off. We were so relieved, but then the sales assistant told us we have to pay for the ring because I gave it to the rover. We had just told her that we wouldn't pay for it when the police arrived and arrested us. What a terrible experience, right? Okay. I have a question. Tell me, tell me your question. About the, uh, okay, you erase the, you erase the, the screen. Again, but, again, uh, okay. Okay, okay uh, about the, uh, uh, the part of the I, uh, it to him when the alarm uh, started. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I don't understand the meaning. Uh, I just handed, o sea, yo se lo había entregado uh -huh. a él. Eso es lo que le dice. Yo se lo yes, había entregado yes. a él. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I had just handed. Ah, okay. No, I don't understand the meaning. You didn't thing. understand That's... the idea. Okay, good. No, but now, yes, I understand. Now you understand. Yo se lo había entregado. Yes. Okay, good. But uh, it's possible to say, yo se lo entregué a él. In the past, I just no, 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 but but here because we are comparing the two events, and Yolanda, what you are trying to say that that the action of a uh, hand the, the, the ring happened no. before the alarm started to go off. Understand? I mean, you can also say, I handed it, no problem, but you don't understand. What happened first? You first hand the ring or the alarm started to go? You don't understand, right? Mm -hmm. But when you use the past perfect, you could understand that the first event was the handing of the ring, right? Mm -hmm. So the only purpose for past perfect here in this context, Yolanda, is to show what event happened first, right? Okay. Perfectly could be the opposite. Could, could be first the alarm and then you you pass the, the you handed the ring, right? But because the person is telling the story, the person is saying that first handed the ring and then the alarm, right? Understand? 
that is the purpose of the idea to show the okay so and remember you have to finish the the platform right the platform yeah. here is uh knowledge check right fill in the blanks simple past past continuous or past perfect right so you have to complete here remember i'm gonna be there in the whatsapp group try to complete this please if you don't understand ask me and i will help you right okay any extra question before we finish the class no questions okay no. So have a good night. Uh, it's raining near my house, so I'm gonna sleep very nice. So I hope you also sleep very nice, very, uh, very good because we have rain in San Salvador, right? So yeah. have an excellent night and see you Thank on Monday, you. right? See you, see you on Monday, Monday teacher. God bless you. Bye, teacher. Have a good weekend. You too. God bless you.